Why did you take a swing at me, stranger? I'm like twice your level. Sheesh. I don't even look like a bad guy. I'm gonna stand next to this tree. You and your trees, dude. I like trees. Nothing against trees. Are you sure you aren't like raised by wood elves? I would explain some things. What do you have against trees? Nothing. They make good books. What do you have against trees? Nothing. They make good books. Suspicious. Hello, Dazzle! Thanks for coming to hang out with us today. We're glad that you were here. For those of you who don't know, my name is Zebra Pig, and today I'm playing with Siri Skulk. Yo. And in case you can't tell, we're going to be playing Elder Scrolls Online, and we're continuing through the story wherever that is. Let's do the torch one. That's the purple one? Yep, purple one. Yeah, we got bugs! I got a red bug, I got a purple bug, I got bugs. I mean, all I did bugs. was change what bug I had out, but you know. These are better bugs. Oh, what's wrong with my not? Nothing. That one just looks like blood, so I'm sure it's better. Oh, okay. Um, so in theory, last time we did some random POI quests. So we helped the sergeant be indecisive about what to do with the dead and the mages and help some Margonians uh, give back to the land. And uh, then we found a dead Argonian on behalf of the Dunmer who was trying to figure out where her friend went. And we talked to the prophet and listened to him talk slow as he walked even slower. And uh, what she got a bow out for? Weren't you, like, supposed to be dual wielding? Is the other one a bow? For your class? I don't know. <laughs> okay, never mind. I have a bow because I wanted one. Alright, Don't all right. judge me. Stop this. Oh, let's look at the map. Where, where's that? Don't, don't judge me! So She's judging me. Done all of that. Dude, I've already moved on. You're the one who's perseverating. We also did the Mage Guild quest line when we went and picked up the books. Do -do 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 -do. Well, we'll talk to you later. First, we need to turn in books and get a pony point. Like, the long time, time is now. Yeah, Seek me by the cliffs outside Devon's watch. Hurry. If we were just there. We really were. Like, we logged in in front of the door. I don't know why that was a thing, but it's like, dude, if we're already here, just... just... Or make it actually a longer period of time. There is a day-night cycle in the game. Make it a certain number right? of cycles, and then he talks to you. But this, like, oh, I need time. And then in reality, it's literally right next to the town. that He's right next to in every faction. Like, immediately he's like, hey! Yo! I got some spices. How exciting. I mean, some spicy. Well, you're spicy, all right. Sprinkles oregano on my head. That's spicy. Uh, I think at that point you're just seasoned. No, seasoning is salt. Do you know no. how long I've been looking for you? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> Here ye, yeah. card sharps and collectors. Test your wits and courage in a brand new card game. Why is the Sable Master like so far away? Why can't it be like Daggerfall where they have one on each side? Mm. Maybe that's way less. It has one on each side. Oh boy. Speed four. Let's go. We race fine horses. I mean, it's one more than we, we had like two seconds ago. Stuga is gonna harass us endlessly here. You're Do you know how mm -hmm. long I've been looking for you? Yes, yes, yes. You want me to go to Hrothgar? I'm not going to Hrothgar. Get over it. All right. All of these people that want to talk to us, but this is the lady we want to speak to. Oh, well, it's a pleasure. There you are. Here. Try not to have much to discuss, you and I. Were you successful? Do you have the tomes? Yes, I have them right here, and something strange happened. Well done. You're already proving your worth to the guild. Sorry, did you say strange? What happened? 
An old man in robes appeared to me. He said his name was Shalador. Shalador? Labyrinthian's father, the spell mirror's forger. Are you speaking truly? And, uh, this book's pages are blank. Why is it glowing? Shalador appeared right after I picked up that book. He said fire would show you the words. The spell rites of the first era used a special ink that would remain invisible until immersed in arcane fire. Perhaps that's what he meant. We have a brazier nearby burning with such a fire. Let's see what the flames reveal. I'll give it a try. Cast the book into the arcane fire. Fear not. The pages will not burn. Can you tell me more about Shalador? Shalador was the most famous archmage of the first era. His dedication to spellcraft and his commitment to research were unmatched by any before or since. Most mages revere him, though he does have his critics. Why would he be criticized? Shalador felt that one should earn the right to be called mage. He created many trials to test the spellcasting metal of men and myrrh. His loudest detractors were those who failed those tests. Uh, isn't that about the way of it, though? Like, if you pass the test, you're like, Yeah, this test is awesome, and I'm cool. And when you fail the test, you're like, Man, you get shook, you know, like it. Summoning rituals illegible. I'll create... Oh, Don't bother trying. I'll save you the effort. It's intentionally I, gibberish. She, I made it one sentence, and... You didn't even make it through the second word, but, you know. What has the fire revealed? I can't understand the words here. They must be very complex spells. Complex indeed. Much of this is beyond my understanding, but here. This one is an attunement spell. We can summon Archmage Shalador himself. We'll need some ritual orbs. What do these orbs do? They'll focus your magicka, attune your life energies, and draw him to this place. The ritual will apparently also link your mind with his. What does that mean? It means that the Archmage will be able to guide you and speak to you whenever he chooses. Are you ready to begin? Sure, this sounds like it couldn't possibly go wrong. To the center. First, we attune your spirit to Shalador's. Attune me! Ready. When you're set, use the orb before you. Do it. I was right in choosing you. I can sense. Yes, the aura around you glows with good fortune. You will be the one to help me complete my final task. Why me? What I hope to accomplish is difficult, perhaps impossible. It will require great strength of spirit. I sense this strength in you. That is what drew us together in the ruins. And what's this task? A storm rages towards us, adept. War has come to Tamriel, and the mages of this great guild must have quarter. I intend to offer them a safe haven, a sanctuary where they may study in peace. How do we create this sanctuary? I created that sanctuary centuries ago. It was stolen from me by an agent of chaos, and magically transported to the Shivering Isles. To recover the island, we must locate four hidden tomes. This is the task of which I speak. Even the dead have work for us. <sighs> Where are these tomes? They are being held in a place known as Cheesemonger's Hollow. It is a realm of the mad god, Sheogorath. Stand by my side, and I will open a portal. Cheesemonger's Hollow, you say? I like cheese. I will stand with you, Shalador. Be careful. Shagorath is not to be taken lightly. I lost the sanctuary because of his nimble tongue and mad stare. Shalador, why have you returned? To protect my legacy. While this guild was... After my time, 
I accomplished much in Tamriel. I founded schools of magic, oversaw the construction of the Great Maze, and bore my spell mirror into battle. And you think the war could undo that? I know it. I laid powerful enchantments on my final resting place. When my legacy is threatened, I'm drawn back from Aetherius. My presence here is proof enough. The Three Banners War is a threat to every mage in Tamriel. How did you lose the sanctuary? I won't waste my time recounting his antics. Suffice it to say, he got the better of me. Bets were made, wagers were lost, and my sanctuary, Ivea, was pulled into his realm. My apprentice is screaming all the while. How? Who is Shogra? <laughs> He's known as the Daedric Prince of Madness, the Mad God. The Dunmer call him one of their four corners of the House of Troubles, and he's earned the title a thousandfold. Is he really a threat? He sounds like a joke. Don't take him too lightly. Madness comes in many forms. Sheogorath encompasses them all. He rules the Shivering Isles, but often takes an active interest in our world. That usually doesn't end well. Am I really going to a place called Cheesemonger's Hollow? And is there cheese there? Yes. An example of Sheogorath's humor. There are those that find his madness amusing. I am not one of those people. The Mad God would just as soon serve you an aged cheddar as he would flay the skin from your bones. Remember that. I mean, but there's aged cheddar then, right? I mean, that that's what you're saying? He's saying there's aged cheddar. Let's do this! For the mm. cheese! Something like that. It's for the cheese! And, and his name is Shiogorath. <laughs> yeah, like I said, Shiogorath. I mean, it's easier to say than his original name before he got corrupted. Which is like, Juggalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagalagal
kill me? Does that mean don't kill me? Molly, you attacked me first. I did not. You did too. Did not. Did too. Well, what is it? Here for some noble purpose, no doubt. I'm here for cheese, dude. I don't know if you count that as noble or not, but that, I'm here for cheese. I'm here for Archmage Shalador. I've been sent to retrieve some books. And cheese? Can I also get some cheese? Spell books? How pedestrian. As it happens, I'm feeling particularly charitable at present. I'll allow you to enter. After. After what? After a test of your resolve. This isn't a lending library. If you want the spell books, you'll have to earn them. A portal has been opened, just behind you. Close it, and I'll grant you passage. All right. Close the portal if you can, though you may want to deal with those scamps first. What about cheese? Can I just, can I just have cheese? was unexpectedly competent. You'd make an adequate house servant. I don't suppose you'd consider it. The pay is meager, but the fringe benefits are appalling. The fringe benefits are appalling. <laughs> I mean, I think that's about like the 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 perfect example of a sales pitch right there. The pay is meager, but the fringe benefits are appalling. Come work for us. No, no thanks. I only come for the books. Pity. The tomes you seek are beyond the door at the top of the stair. Once you're outside, follow the path. Just doing the master's will. I will open the door for you. Oh, and mind the scamps. The little imps adore fresh flesh. Such children. Oh, I have found a piece of cheese. Right this way. So you said you found cheese? Yes, I found one piece of cheese and I found two more tolfies, guys. Look. And please, try not to make a mess of things. Look at I'm these confused tolfies. because I also fought tolfies. Happy adventuring. I'm so glad we've had this time together. One must usually go to a public execution for conversation of this caliber. <laughs> what is this place? Oh, just one of the many shrines to my lord. The common rabble know it as Cheesemonger's Hollow. Shea Gorath is fond of it, but rarely graces it with his presence. Who are you? I am Lord Shea Gorath's Chamberlain. I handle his affairs and look after the Shivering Isles while his lordship is away. The Shivering Isles? Are you lost? Do you know nothing of the place you've come to? The Shivering Isles are Lord Shea Gorath's realm in oblivion. To tell you more would, as my lord puts it, spoil all the fun. In this whole place, there's been one cheese. So far, so far there has been no cheese. I I'm feeling like this place is a lie because of the lack of cheese. And I mean, I guess I should have known. Like, he is Daedra. There's but... cheese. You just have to find it. I have yet to get cheese. I feel like you should just be given the cheese. Be like, here, have some cheese. Hmm, not going well. I mean, I'm not getting cheese, so I'm also feeling like things are not going well. Ooh, nope. God damn it, he was almost dead, too. Hey! I really need a healing ability and just don't seem to have one. Do I really have, like, no capacity to self heal? Is that, is that just a pleasure I only enjoy as an Ephromancer? Oh, okay, so that exists. I just don't have my dark magic hide to do it. Okay, so it does look like there is a self heal. It's just blocked behind dark magic rank 30. I'm 16. Um. Weenies! Nothing like being weenies. Look, Pop! Someone to play with ya! Oh, we 
doesn't like you. Does he? Oh. Ah, craptastic. That's good to know. Apparently, my imp doesn't stay out if you change the bar. That's huh. kind of annoying. If I cast him and change bars, yet he goes away. That's really annoying, but good to know. So that's why my imp kept just randomly disappearing. Because when I would change bars, he'd just peace out. killed me twice before I managed to kill it. <laughs> well, I'm at twice. His shoes. Oh, how the Kwama lost his shoes. All right. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Oh, hi, Shawawa. Hobby killer, come to steal me box. Where? Who? Where? What? When? Sometimes why? <laughs> Speak up. Honesty is the best policy, as far as you know. <laughs> I'm here to recover four tomes for Shalador. Shalador? That pompous Nord and I go way back. I know what he wants. Indeed, I do. Ha! His island. He wants to steal it back. <laughs> How I love a challenge. Right. I'll just take them with me then. Now, where's the sport in that? I tell you what. I'll give you one book in exchange for your heart or lungs. Your choice. No, wait. I have a better idea. Let's have a contest. A contest wrapped in a mystery with an enigma glaze. Oh, what fun we'll have. I rather like a contest rather than an organ trade. So what kind of contest? A few tasks, the odd death trap. Nothing so difficult to say reassembling the staff of chaos or rebuilding the new medium. <laughs> Take the first book, Hobby Killer, and I'll give you an additional book for each test you pass. Are you game? I suppose it's a deal. Excellent. Cheese and cabbage for everyone! Oh yay! Finally I get cheese? Inform Shalidor of him of our deal. With any luck, he'll die of embarrassment all over again. <laughs> I'm not sure that's how it works. I can't wait to see the look on his face. If it's precious enough, I might hang it on the wall. What's the meaning of this? Shilgorath! You remember. Ah, Shalidor. You never ride, you never visit. Just now I made a deal with your lackey here. How long have you wanted those books? Eternity? Your deals are hardly fair. What farce have you contrived this time? Think of it as an adventure. Ha! And don't worry, I've got a surprise for you too. I put a tiny curse on these books, just a small one. <laughs> long story short, Shal, you can never read these books. Curse you, mad god! Boring! <laughs> Be more imaginative, shall? Like, curse you, mad god! May <laughs> you become cheese eternally gnawed by skeevers! <sighs> Unfortunately, I have no more time for constructive criticism. Do stay in touch. I, I will say that I find the mad god entertaining. Curse the mad god! I don't know what game he's playing with you, but I do know the stakes. At least we have one too. That's true. Though without my help, it will take Velast considerably longer to translate it. I'd like you to return and let her know the bad news. I'll tell her. I'll send you back to Tamriel then. Are you ready? 
I am ready. Oh, good. I finally got a uh, Magicka necklace rather than all these stupid health and stamina ones. I didn't end up with any cheese, though. And you ended up with a Magicka necklace. That's Over fine. here! Hey, you, we have much you. to discuss. Wait, wait, no, 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 wait, 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 no, wait, 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 I'm waiting. Ah! Woo! Blah, blah, blah. You're giving me cheese? Yeah, that's the cheese I found. I Lots found one work. cheese. Hmm, there. Geez. Cheese from Cheese Place. I mean, who doesn't want to taste like god cheese? You radiate an aura of power. Does this mean you have the books? Only one. Shagorath is going to make us pass tests to earn the others. Tests? Well, that's a start, I suppose. What of Shalador? He was drawn away from here in a burst of light. Shagorath summoned him. Not good. Not good. I'll start translating this right away, but I hope Shalador returns to help. Uh, Shagrath cursed the tome. Shalador can't read it. Xarxas' backside. Then this is going to take a while. Check in at a guild hall from time to time. I'll leave word for you when I've finished. Okay. In the meantime, keep an eye out during your travels. There are many lost tomes scattered throughout Tamriel. Who knows, any one of these books may help us restore Shalador's lost island haven. Pardon me, I must begin this translation. These runes... Fascinating. About Shagorath. Terrifying, isn't he? The will and attention of a child with the power of a Daedric prince. Is he always like that? Well, look on the bright side. You're still upright on two legs. You're not inside out or bright purple or afflicted with new angry limbs. It could be worse. Yep. Can't even eat my cheese. Nope, because it's an ingredient. Part of why I was amused about how obsessed you were finding cheese. Well, I guess, do we want to talk to the Prophet or do we want to do the main quest from Fighter's Guild? Fighter's Guild! Fighter's Guild! Punch people in the face! The farthest one away. Okay. Well, you know, you're welcome. Well, we might be able to do the zone quest on our way to. You asked me what I wanted to do. Yeah, I just figured you pick the farthest one. I don't know though, this profit quest is to go save Lyris. <laughs> Maybe we should go rescue Lyris. I mean, we can't leave her in the dark abysmal crap hole. Yep, mentioned Lyris, and suddenly Tolfi's all like, Oh, I'm such a cheesy little, like, producer, and I can't read you. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Yeah. That you have a serious crush on this. We are gonna rescue the, the beautiful goddess. And maybe she'll beat me up for it. Keep hoping. Maybe just one good reward punch in the face. You might take a little too much glee in her wanting her to deck you. Doesn't that one get stronger and builds up their, like, stuff? Prophet, let's do this. It is good to see you again, and I do see you in my own way. You're a wound in time, a tear in reality that shouldn't exist and cannot long endure. Why do you speak in riddles? Fate speaks in riddles. Your fate was written in the scrolls long ago. It is entwined with the fate of the Five Companions. I have finally located Lyris Titanborn in Cold Harbor. Is she safe? She works a terrible forge under the lash of the great deceiver, Molog Baal. Her soul is in great danger. You must go to her. I can manifest a gate to that dark realm, Open but you must gate. go quickly. Open the gate, I'll rescue her! Tread carefully in Molog Baal's realm. You are important. The scrolls have so named you. Yeah, but it's Lyris. What happened to Lyris after we escaped? After Lyris took my place in the Wailing Prison so that we might escape, the Daedra moved her to the Foundry of Woe. It is a place of torment and despair. She toils endlessly making weapons for the enemy. I didn't know this. 
The god of schemes invaded my mind many times during my imprisonment. It was a tortuous experience, but by forcing his way into my mind, he inadvertently opened his own thoughts to me, and thus created a chink in his own armor. Who do you mean? We are connected, he and I. With concentration, I can see through his eyes. He feels my presence, and it fills him with rage. When you enter the foundry to recover Lyris, I can keep his attention focused on me. He will be blind to you for a time. Isn't that dangerous? It will be a far greater danger for you to enter Cold Harbor without this distraction. It is Molog Baal's realm, and his power there is great. I will endeavor to distract him in this manner whenever you travel there. Alright. Let's do this! It's time! It's time to save her! Oh, Lyris. You. You're alive. Are you really here, or is this another trick? It's me. The prophet sent me to find you. And he's still alive. Thank the gods. But you... You can't stay. You have to leave before they find you here. I'm not leaving without you. You don't understand. They've done something to me. I can't leave. What do you mean? It's hard to describe. My memories, my feelings, they've, they've been fragmented, ripped apart. And all the fragmented pieces have been locked away in different parts of the foundry. Then we will retrieve them. I've tried. The Daedra took everything. My willpower, my courage, my sense of self. I'm an empty shell. And the fragments are reflections of my worst fears and most painful memories. I, I can't. I, I don't think I can face them. We will face them together. I'll do my best. Lead on. These lost souls are barely aware of their humanity. You, back to work, slave. This can't be. It looks like my childhood home in Skyrim. My parents' graves. My mother died in childbirth. My father was distant. Cold. I think he blamed me for my mother's death. I ran off to become a mercenary when I was 16. I never saw my father again. He was murdered by an old enemy. Father? Papa, is that you? Let's go talk to you, bastard! Die like the monster you are! Her mind and soul are already ours! Abandon your pathetic rescue! Who are you? Why does Lyris walk with you? I'm here to help Lyris. Who are you? In life, I was Gyalda, father to Lyris. My spirit was torn from its rest and brought to this foul place. The Daedra forced me to experience my own murder again and again. I thought my torment would never end. They're using you to keep Lyris shackled to Cold Harbor. I don't understand. Lyris was always a free spirit. Why would my presence bind her here? She blames herself for your death. Lyris, is this true, child? You were always so cold. So distant. My mother died giving me life. It was my fault. I should never have been born. Lyris, look at me. The blood of giants flows through my veins. Your mother was a Nord. I gave her my seed without thought for her safety. That's why she died. Not because of you, child. Because of me. I thought you blamed me. You... You couldn't even look at me, Papa. Do you not see? When I looked at you, I saw her face. I loved her, child. Just as I love you. More than life itself. We cannot change the past. Nor should we cling to it. You must not let these feelings haunt you. Let them go. Let me go. I love you too, Papa. Mm, Rest yeah. now. Give me a hug. Be at peace. Yeah, give me, give me, give me a hug. He's gone. 
Come on, feel better. let's get out of here. It's okay, you'll be okay, poor years. Get all the pieces. Yeah, I stashed them in the footlockers all around camp. I bet the commander makes her run 50 laps this time. 50? Let's hope the beast gets a lashing. All right, let's get back to it. Act natural. Did you find something? I did, and it's not letting me tell you how, how I found some things. Did you find something? I believe this armor belongs to you. I can't believe it. This armor is who I am. It's what I am. A warrior without her armor is like a bear without claws. Suit up. I'll wait. Put on your claws. Excellent. Yes, suit I'm up. Ready. And don't mind the... Staring while it happens. He's fine. There, there's no ogling happening here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lies. <laughs> What's your step? All the mining has made these tunnels unstable. Ah, uh, she fell on her face. Abner Thorn. You traitorous bastard. I should have expected to find you here. Don't be a fool, Titanborn. I'm trying to help you. Your hatred poisons you. Warriors are like steel. When you lose your temper, you lose your worth. Help me. You betrayed us all, then went back to licking Money Marco's boot before the smoke cleared. I did what I had to do. And as a show of my good intentions, I have a gift for you. But be warned, Cold Harbor will not give it up easily. Is that... Sure, Spones, it is. Vestige, that's my battle axe. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. <laughs> I really need to get my dark magic up so I have a self heal. I see it's, you know, sounds like it's going well. Can you not chew on me? Alright, let's get your fight stick. Oh, it's good to have my axe. Ah, oh, it feels good to have it back. It's part of me. Losing it was like losing an arm. Why would Tharn try to help you? I don't know. I don't trust him and I never will. But it's odd. The blind hatred I felt when I saw him. I could have strangled him with my bare hands. But now... I think he was right. That hatred was poisoning me. How do you feel now? Better. Stronger. Almost whole again. <laughs> Isn't that strange? I feel powerful enough to take on Umaril the Unfeathered himself. I feel like a warrior again. What's next? We're not done yet. We need to keep moving forward. The passage is blocked by a rock slide. But now that I have my axe back, I might be able to break through it. Let's check it out. Yes, break it, break it. Stand back. No damn pile of pebbles is gonna stop me now. What? She doesn't even use her axe. She just punches it. She's like, she's like, I have my axe back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like eat these rocks with my fist. So many daydream beasties, so little time. We need to keep moving. Did you hear that? That sounded like. No. It couldn't be. What's happened to you? What have they done? Lyris. Lyris. I can see you. Are you really there? Sai, it's me. We're seeing some kind of vision of you. Do you know where you are? I... 
I don't know. They're torturing me. They want, want the Amulet of Kings. Want me to tell them where it's hidden. But I haven't broken. Not yet. Sai, you need to hold on. We're going to find you. I'll make sure of it. We'll find you. Somehow we'll get you out of there. Sai? Sai! No! Bring him back, you bastards! That was no trick. That was Sai Sahan. Are you gonna be alright? Sai's a friend. Maybe my best friend. We need to find him and get him out of there. There must be a way to find out where they're keeping him. We need to tell the Prophet about this. He'll know what to do. But first, we need to find a way out of here. I don't care what else they throw at us. Nothing is going to keep me from helping Sai. Let's go. I love that Lyric, for most characters, is like a foot to two feet taller than me. And yet her mm -hmm. character model always looks straight ahead or up. It's like her default should be down. She doesn't do well at eye contact. Not everyone does. It's fine. You know what? And like, that's fair, but boy, I just do look at it and go, Lyris. Lyris. I mean, it's not as bad I'm as. Down here. Hi. It's not as bad when we're the Dunmer and, you know, she's only a foot taller than us rather than when we're the uh, Bossamer and she's like a foot and a half, two feet taller than us. <laughs> just stared at her belly button. It's Tendar defend us. It's the source of all my fears. I can hear it whispering to me, taunting me. Disconnected. Hey, bring back the yes, Lyris. Are you all right? Yes, Prophet, I'm fine. The vestige freed my mind from the Daedra's control. Thank the divines. Your loss would have thrown all into chaos. They won't take me again. Not alive, at least. Prophet, Menemarko captured Sai Sahan. He's torturing him to find out where the Amulet of Kings is hidden. We have to rescue him. You brought Lyris back, and largely intact from the look of her. She's been through a lot. And she will need time to recover. One does not leave such a place unscarred. And she couldn't need hugs. Alright, I'll volunteer. We saw a projection of Sai Sahan. He spoke to us. What did he say? Did Sai tell you where he is being held? He doesn't know. Mana Marco is torturing him. He wants the Amulet of Kings. Then we must locate him before Menemarco forces him to reveal the Amulet's hiding place. We also saw a projection of Abnar Tharn. He tried to help Lyris. Did he? I thought he had firmly aligned himself with Menemarco and his worm cult. Curious, I'm curious. Sai Sahan said that Menemarco wants the Amulet of Kings. Why? I just saw in my visions. The amulet's misuse ripped a hole in the barrier that protects Time Real from the forces of oblivion. That damage must be undone, and the amulet is the key. But to find the amulet, we must first locate Sai Sahan. How can I help? For now you must leave me to my meditation. I must set my mind to the task of locating Sai Sahan. Until then, embrace the unknowable. The drops of water cannot know themselves to be a river, yet the river flows on. One last thing. Why did Molwag Ball leave Lyris any possibility of escape? Perhaps it was simply arrogance. Perhaps it was all part of his grand scheme. Who can know the logic of a Daedric prince? I will call upon you again when the time is right. Farewell, Vistage. I don't think that you ask enough questions. When the time comes. On. You're like, meh. I don't know. I, don't, I totally left this door open and it's sus as heck, but... Uh, we don't need to ask any questions about that. It's fine. We've saved Lyris. Yay! We have the goddess. Happy 
happy days. Definitely gonna need lots of hugs, guys. This tall fee is kind of unnerving. Alright, now that we've left the cave, let me go find something to kill and bathe in the blood of my enemies. Well, that's it for this episode. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us today. And until we can hang out again, you guys, be sure to take care of yourself.